What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Banter Podcast. Today, we're joined here with Quackity. Guys, please like this video and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> or else Quackity will never come on again. Yeah, so when's Joe Rogan coming in? <laughs> guys, you need to subscribe right now. But why, Quackity? Because we're having banter. Because we're bantering and it's awesome and not enough of you guys to subscribe. It's, it's a small percentage. It's so super small. easy and it's the best way to support us. It's Thank you so, so much. small. And if you don't, Quackity is going to get the sh- Alex, better known <laughs> online as Quackity, formerly Quackity HQ, okay. is a popular YouTuber and Twitch streamer known for making a large variety of content, including Discord talent shows and raids on popular games such as Roblox, Habbo, and Club Penguin. Club Penguin. I know you're a Club Penguin kind of guy. I'm a, I'm a club did did you guy. did you make those Club Penguin videos where it'd be like, uh, I don't know, it's like really meme and it'd be like. You, no. like, you know, like uh, oh no, because you get banned for that. I also don't even know what you're talking. Yeah. about. Have you seen those videos? It like they like like TikTok. Right? I, I've seen, I've seen. You know, I've seen Club Penguin sex. <laughs> yes, there's a video. Yes, called I have Club Penguin sex, and they're like, it's like two penguins fucking. <laughs> I've seen a very iconic Lego sex. I actually, I, I Lego sex have, is good. Yeah. I've seen both of them. Yeah, yeah I've this, definitely is, this is a crazy way to start. It's a good way to start the guys. episode. Oh Quackity, how are you today? I'm doing good. I'm a little tired, you know. We're packing this up at a late night, for, but yeah, for everybody, we are yeah. starting at 11:53 p.m. It's yeah. about to be midnight. It's, it's almost his bedtime. He's pretty, getting pretty old now, aren't you? How old are you? What? How old are you? I am 21. Oof. Wait, really? 21. Yeah. What is that your real age? That's your online age. What's your That's your age? online age. Like, how old are you? <laughs> That's the age that you fake. I'm 25. I, would actually believe, I feel like I would believe that. It's funny. I used to, uh, when I was a kid, yep. I used to, the PewDiePie mm-hmm. of, the PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye of the Club Penguin community was this guy called CP Broadcast, and yeah. the next one was Gracer. I'm, you know what? Is that the Minecraft guy? Yeah, Gracer. I'm glad that they get the watch respect Gracer. that PewDiePie has. <laughs> well, I'm not talking about that. But you know, they, they had big numbers. And I met Gracer. Uh, you still kicking the metal? You, like, what is going on? Like, you don't, don't care know. about the audio or something? I get my just legs comfortable. Or just like, I just can't. I just can't yeah, fathom. Do it quietly. Hey, Frank, get this. I'm trying. Get this. This is. This you're not trying. I told you, just like. All right, chill. Chill with the metal. All right, all right, let's let's get back on track. Something about Club Penguin. Some about Habbo. Some about. You really, where'd you get your start though? You got your start at Toons. Right? Wait, I just I realized, it's crazy. You, wait, you, you just play all these stupid games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got your start on Minecraft, you absolute. Minecraft dumb. is the mo- the best selling game of all time. Yeah, yeah, it's also a stupid gotcha. game though. It's like a dumb, it's a dumb Dude, but, okay. Did you play Minecraft? Minecraft it's not wait, a dumb game. Did you play Minecraft where you could play it like through the browser? Mm, no. I played what? RuneScape like that. RuneScape through, RuneScape the browser. through the browser. Yeah, but Minecraft had that too. You really? Could play through the browser. Yeah. I, don't remember, I didn't know about that. I don't remember. I possibly did though, but I don't remember. Yeah, yeah like yeah. some like fucked version of Minecraft, not like an actual version. <laughs> fucked version. Like you, like you know, like some version of Minecraft you'd play when you're on your school computer and they block mm-hmm. like all the shit. Let's give a rundown. <laughs> Quackity. <laughs> yeah. You started out Quackity HQ, and That's right. you were telling me over dinner why you had that name. Explain it. Yeah, so the HQ stands for headquarters. Uh, Toontown had his uh, headquarters in a game, and I just made it quack at HQ. People thought it was high quality, but there's no way I was making high quality content <laughs> at that age. You know what's crazy? Time. Yeah. She gave me head, and it only cost a few quarters. <coughs> what? <coughs> Are you doing a sign off from Bubba? Yeah. yeah. When, <laughs> that was pretty good. That was good. When Carl's mom gave me head, she paid me. Yeah, really? that's good of her. Yeah. So, <laughs> she's charitable. That's <laughs> thoughtful. <laughs> Wait, you guys got the brand on these water bottles? I what kind of show? These, these ones are hard to get off. <coughs> oh, really? It's fine. What do you mean? I don't. Do you have a fucking... Are they paying you for this? <laughs> I don't. No. I, I like this water. I have a question. What's up? Why do you always wear your stupid glasses and beanie? Um, it's it's an interesting fashion style. Well, also the beanie is more different, but like I feel like yeah. the glasses you don't always wear them. Like why are you choosing to I wear don't. them now? Um, I don't know. It just kind of became an accidental fashion choice. This is this is a very important question. I have <laughs> to go back to. Okay. And uh, this affects all of us with you, all of our relationships with you. Uh oh. And it's Here actually it's, where we're going it's very yeah. deep. Yeah. I remember. And Quacky, I want to know. Why are you so secretive? 
Mm. Oh my god. You keep everything so behind lock and key, even behind even from us. I'll tell you this. And for people that don't know, <laughs> for people that don't know, you look at this for plus dream is five out of five. We should tell everybody everything. Is I tell so? you all my secrets. Mm -hmm. You tell me. Is that so? Unless we, we tell Quackity. We tell Quackity. And then secrets. Quackity doesn't tell us. Then tell us shit. Well, I, I'm going to be honest with you. That secretive aspect that I hold in my life is, and I'm going to fuck you guys over with this. It's very personal. I feel like okay, there was a point guys, in my life before he continues, where... he's farming off. This is fake. <laughs> no, what it doesn't it? mean anything. Like he's faking his answer to, no, get, the reality, to get the appreciation of the, the people. The reality is, anyway, I like to have a, like, I'm a person that values my personal space That's a lot. That's fair. We're paying right? Okay, wait, before you continue. I know yeah. what it is. I, it's a work, he wants to have a separation between work and personal life. No, it's not life. even oh, that. Oh, we're It's not even yeah, that. Yeah, it's yeah. not even that. I remember I asked you, I don't know if you asked me. No, there was a point where you, there was a point. My podcast, you shut up. Hey, 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 listen, this is why I remember asking you the most trivial question. It was something like, it was something like, like, I don't know. It was something equivalent of like, oh, where are you going for dinner tonight? Yeah. And you were like, you're like, <laughs> not telling you, buddy. And I was like, wait, why? And you're like, oh, I can't tell you that. Okay, honestly, I blame George. I blame George because George has always been, and I don't know if this is a word. Tell me if I can use a, another word. Go ahead. Uh, but George is very predatory with the word. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, is that not the... Is, is there a synonym no, for that? No, that's a perfect word. Is there a hey, synonym look, it's, for that? It's a language barrier. What do you mean to say? It, it really, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Like, you are, very, you are very confrontative. All right, with your question. There came a point where I was, yeah yeah. yeah, 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 very aggressive with the asking. I feel like I was being interrogated. There was a point where I would tell George stuff, but then he started interrogating more and more and more to the point where the stuff I had to tell George felt me like I was backed into a corner. I was like, I was like, maybe I want to keep this part of my privacy. Maybe George doesn't need to know that I'm going to Olive Garden to have dinner. Maybe he doesn't need to know that. No, maybe like, doesn't know, maybe like, doesn't need to know that I'm going on a drive to put on fucking gas. You know maybe what? He I'll doesn't need to know. I'll tell you this. And I'll also, you know what? I feel I'm like... starting to switch teams a little bit for a second. Because I'll also <laughs> say, I definitely tell George way more secrets that I hold than he tells to me. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Very true. George, the I the I next even person have, I don't more really secret than me is George not found. The person more secret than me is, is George. Well, that's I don't true. know if that's true. No, it's, not, it's not a jump the gun. Who's, who's more secret than me? You guys are both after after Here's, after here's the problem I have. I'll ask yeah. you something. Or you're, well, I won't even necessarily ask. You'll, you'll willingly give up some information. And then I'll, I'll, be like, I'll ask a little bit more. And then you're like, no, 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 no. So like, you'll be like, <laughs> okay. you'll be like yeah. You'll be like, okay, so I'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out with this with this person tonight, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> Which is, I've never told you that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, who, who is it? He's that? like, oh, I'm going on a date with, and then he'll say Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and then, so he'll be like, yeah, I'm going on a date with this person tonight. I'm like, oh, who? That's a good example, I mean, yeah. okay, I'll, I'll save you. I don't think you've ever done that to me, but it's, it's a similar scenario. So yeah. you'll be like, oh yeah, I'm going on a exactly. date with this person. <laughs> you'll be like, I was going on, I'm going on a date with this person tonight, and I'll be like, oh my God, no way, who? And you'll be like, <laughs> and it's like, why would you tell me if you're not going to tell me who? I don't, I don't. That's you guys. That, okay, is that a bad thing? You trap me like, like that maybe, so maybe much. Blue balling also, with the, also, with the secret, you don't, you don't trade information fairly. Oh, really? Like, we'll give you some information, well, and then just you won't give us the same information you back. Tell me what information you want. I mean, who's your girlfriend? <laughs> who's yours? Why haven't we got? There you go. You want to have one. with it? Why That's haven't it. we gotten to meet your girlfriend? <laughs> Yeah. She goes to her school. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Why is he laughing? Why is he laughing about that's that? That's awesome. She does. Okay. She goes to another podcast. She's not here right now. She goes to another podcast. <laughs> maybe, maybe she's chilling with Joe Rogan, you know. That's <laughs> so terrible. Yeah, she's not, she's, she's not, your, so she's not your girlfriend anymore, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, would you guys, all right, all right, we're all boys here. If yeah. I had a shady girlfriend, would you guys like yes. call me out on it? Yeah. Would you tell me like, 100%. Yo, I would. That's what, you, that's what we did with Sam now. Really? <laughs> Is that why he's single right now? <laughs> he's not. <laughs> oh, dude, that's true. <laughs> that you haven't done your job. <laughs> I think it, I, yeah, I think it is. I think you're a bad friend if you don't tell them. No, yeah, we'd, we would be doing, yeah. it's, it's, we're doing you a, what's something? What's wrong with my story? Right, you know we're what? doing you a service if we're, by telling you. Okay, what's something you guys would yes man on? So there's something where you would not dare to tell a friend. Like we're, we're all boys, but what's something where you're like- I feel like with us, there's like almost nothing. I'm not like scared to yeah. say something. 
Um, for you guys, nothing. I definitely have friends where they're like proud of their fashion sense. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? You definitely have friends like that. You like who? Yeah. Drop, drop some names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like Frank over name. there. No, I'm just kidding. Could you? Yeah, no way he can be proud of his home. fashion sense. No, he's not proud. Either. That is a good sweater. I'll say that. That is oh. a good sweater. What? No, yeah, Frank's nah, wearing. By it. the way, Frank off camera is wearing a really good sweater. But yeah, no, you. I'm glad they could hear that. Just right. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, all right, uh, drop some names. Come on. No, I. Drop I mean, I, it's, I don't even have. Drop? I can't even think of somebody right now. But there's definitely been people in the past that have had like opinions of like they're they would be like oh like they think that they dress really well and I'm like all I, right I, I, I know someone like that I would feel like that he's fucking sitting right here in the middle and he you I just I just all right all right just look at yourself and look at Sam what what's going on bro's got fucking bullet holes on his hoodie. <laughs> what? Well, I've got bullet holes on his hoodie. Come on, man. Please. I don't understand. Please. You don't I'm like his sick hoodie? Of, I'm sick of that Balenciaga hoodie. Seeing it every fucking two days on my channel. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm, sick, I'm, of sick, of, I'm sick of your fucking Jesus penance, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, hey. First yes! off, first off here. Use this, use this for your for your title. Satnam hates Christians. There you go. I didn't say Satnam that. Satnam hates Christians. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Bro, I'm sick of you. I'm sick of Jesus. Go in. Go in. I'm sick of Jesus. Let me mediate this. I'm, I'm just saying, Let if, me mediate if, if you're this. sick of my Balenciaga, I'm well, to be fair, I just didn't know what brand you, your sweater was, <laughs> and I just saw So you that. went for Jesus. What yeah, brand, so I went for brand Jesus. Is it? Wait, yes. let me see that? What? What, what brand is that? New York uh, and Sports. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, what is this one? Wait, did you, get that in, <laughs> did you get that in London? What? Is that from London? No. It says New York actually, and Sports. it might sports. be. Yeah, I actually think this is from London. Is it from the Nike store? Yeah. It is? It's so funny. Me, when, me, when, <laughs> <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when I met George for the first time in London, we pl we pledged to like go running every morning. <laughs> but motherfucker would wake up at like 3, 3 p.m. And I'd yeah. be waking up at 9 a.m. doing no, it's nothing funny. all morning. We went to the Nike waiting store. Waiting for this guy to wake up. We bought like $500 worth of like running <laughs> yeah, shirts, running shorts, equipment. shoes. We didn't run once. Really? Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's but why I, when I trained for the Sidemen football match, you I used, used I used it. it. You used it. I used Fuck all of it, you. and Fuck he paid you. for it. He paid for it. I as did well. pay for it. I did pay. I for it. always you pay you back. That's you wild said, that, you, I, that you guys no, thought I, you were gonna wake up early. Right. You know what was a real bummer about the charity match for me? The KSI charity match. What? Not to the get The KSI charity match. Yeah, well, the Sidemen charity match. Sorry. Oh, so when Sidemen are just KSI? Yes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the bummer for me. Is this like serious or a no? Joke? It is. It is serious. The bummer for me is that we bought. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> the I bummer can't. for me, the bummer for me was that we bought Rick and Morty cleats oh. because we saw an advertisement for them and got them the day they dropped and they sold out that same day. And by we, you mean you bought us? Yeah, us the Rick and Morty. Cleats. I bought them. We hey, if us. you were there, Quackity, you, you could have gotten some. Yes, no, really, would you like to know? Yeah, I know. We you want to know the actual answer? Because we were in a voice chat, we wanted to hang out with you, and you were streaming on Karma Land. <laughs> so that's it why. probably was. Yeah. No, but that, I, genuinely, that was, we would have been, of course I would have. Okay. But anyway, so I'm like, yeah, we're going to be the only two people rocking these Rick and Morty cleats. We keep talking about them, Rick and Morty cleats. Oh, we're calling them the Rick Sanchez ones. We call them Rick and Mortys. With Portal Greens, the Rick and Mortys, you know what I mean? We were just going to town with us. <laughs> and we show up to that event, and there's about 15 other people <laughs> with the Rick and Morty clean. I couldn't believe it. I was what? so pissed off. Really? Yeah, in the I forgot in the shin watch? guards, and the guy hands me shin guards with the Rick and Morty shin guards. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. No, I, they, when, that, going, when going goofy isn't I think really everyone must have had that same idea. Like They saw Rick and Morty football boots, and everyone was like, give me. Because, yeah, literally, like one in like three people had them. It was crazy. Yeah, I actually noticed that when I was watching it uh, with puns. It was like and we like, were sponsored by Rick and Morty. <laughs> uh, to Rick be fair, and Morty got so much out of that Simon match. Well, to be fair, we have no idea how much they got. Adidas got a lot out of it, to be fair. Yeah, awesome. uh, I know Rick I know Rick and Morty didn't get much. I was talking to like, Rick. <laughs> he, um, <laughs> I texted Morty. <laughs> you would text Morty. I was talking to Rick, though. No, I, I FaceTimed Morty, and he was like, show me, all, he was showing me the check that Adidas sent him. 
Wait, 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 how much was it? I like how he says Adidas. 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 It's like how it's how it's meant to be. Wait, I have an Adidas. Adidas. Beating. I've probably given Adidas a lot of money. They owe you money. a check. Yeah, they do. You mean half of Conlon has their brand on your head? Yeah, which I should change sometime soon. You know, it happened with LAFD, Los Angeles Fire Department, mm. back when I you had You told me they like emailed you or something. Yeah, they emailed me because they were like, hey, we, we are getting a lot of sales in beanies because of you and we want to send you more merch. Did like, they send you more? Yeah, and I don't mind because they're a, they're a profit-free or non-profit-free. Non <laughs> profit-free. <laughs> they're making no money. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're a non-profit organization, so I was like, oh, yeah, fuck it. And then they sent me the beanie, but it wasn't as good as the original one I had. But hey, maybe so you I'll told them, hey, maybe you should start being for profit a little bit. Get some, get some better material. Get some better material. In like, hey, hey, maybe, I, I maybe guess put I'll out a few more fires, you know? He's like, I guess I'll support my local fire department. I just need to know why uh, one of the hosts of the Banner Podcast is on Snapchat. That's kind of Great weird. Show. I feel like there's no. How the real... fuck could you see that from all the other <laughs> See, this is another advantage of like the the sunglasses. You don't know. Who People don't know where at. you're looking. Yeah, you don't. You don't know where I'm looking at. When, what does that, what does that help you? Motherfuckers thought he was slick. I wasn't even trying to be slick. <laughs> you were on Snapchat. I just didn't want the cameras to see it. Why How many you... bitches do you have? Huh? Many There's so many. Have? Like a ridiculous amount. Like, can you count them on two hands? I need to use my fucking feet too. It's crazy because <laughs> it's crazy because your mom loves it when I use my feet. I I shove my fucking big toe down your mom's throat, bro. What, really like this what is this podcast? <laughs> well, I, in my opinion, I look at you as the only, at least Twitch streamer, but I'd say probably full-fledged content creator that has been able to have a very well done English side of content creation while also Spanish content creation. Separate, but both of them really good. Thank you so much. And I was curious how you think you can juggle that while other people haven't been able to. Um... Oh man, that's a that's a really charged question. Yeah, we play your oomph into it. Mm -hmm. I also have a follow up. So well, the reality is, yet. I think I think I've been so culturally merged into both uh, systems, both the American system and both the Mexican system. Which Mexico is where I grew up, and English is how I made all my content. I think it's worked really well for me because I'm very culturally merged into both of them, mm -hmm. and that's a way it's really helped me fledge out my content know the exact kind of style of content that I want to make and the exact jokes that I know how to make. So yeah. I, th I owe it to my lifelong experience of having a lot of, yeah, a lot of experience in both. Do you, do you, both see, different, do you see different styles performing better in the different communities? Uh, what do you mean? Like styles of content, do you see one excel better in English communities or Spanish communities? You know what I mean? Well, yeah, they're so vastly different. You know? The communities? Yeah. 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 The communities are so vastly different. Stuff that uh, might not work in the English community could work in the Spanish community. So is it, it's like um, a, it's when you're creating content for the different communities, it's like completely different? Uh, it's kind of like making a TikTok versus making a YouTube video? I, I, I'd say so, yeah. But it goes in phases. You know, it goes mm. in phases because yeah. just like my English content has been changing constantly, mm. my Spanish content is changing constantly as well. What is something that you've question. done? And, and wait, really quick. No, no, Because we're still on this. We're still Mine's on this. about this too. Okay, wait. What's something that you would do? <laughs> what's something that you can do as English content that you don't that you have done that you don't think would perform as well in Spanish? Uh, English content that wouldn't perform well in Spanish. Writing an English song. <laughs> Writing an English song. Uh, <laughs> good question. It's true. Good question. I guess it's right, not. Fuck this question. I have a better question. Okay. This is a good question. It's too thought provoking. It's, it's very. It's very specific. I think. Yeah. I, I don't think there's a piece of content that pops into my mind where I'm no. like, oh, this wouldn't work. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Like, Fair enough. Fair enough. Right. Right. I guess he's not as right. advanced as we thought he was. Mm, yeah, not smart. Anyways, um, <laughs> so my question is: Whenever you first like, so. We started doing content with us, it was all English. Mm -hmm. And then there's a point in time where you started like first dipping your toes into yeah. like, Spanish content. Like you would do like one stream on your all every once right. in a while where it right. was it was just in Spanish. And I was wondering, at that time, would, did you feel like there was a lot of people, a lot, because I remember your chat was just 
ja, 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 ja. And I always assumed it was people that didn't know how to actually speak Spanish, just spamming yeah. that. Because now when I look in your chat, yeah. it's not just ja, 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 ja. It's, it's just, it's actual no, Spanish it was, it was going up and down. No, no, no. no. It's you, one of two you're things. You're saying it was, it was just ja, 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 because people didn't understand me. No, it was genuine ja, ja, ja. Oh, you're just it's one funny. of two things. Either you've gotten less funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's either you got less funny. Maybe, maybe I fell off. Maybe I fell off. Maybe that's exactly I guess, Yeah, I, I guess I assumed that it was a bunch of our fans who didn't really know how to speak Spanish. And I was like, the only thing they knew. At that point in time, and then you progressed way more into the Spanish community, and obviously yeah. you got like you know more full fledged speakers. Mm. Yeah, probably probably that's what happened. But yeah, no, even those in yeah, I probably got less funnier. I fell off. Or you got less funnier. And now the ja 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 rate is <laughs> down. We're the looking road. at your ja ja ratios. <laughs> Gone down a lot. <laughs> imagine imagine like, trying to get a sponsorship and like yeah. You're <laughs> not gonna lie, Josh, 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 recently. Hey man, you're not the that jo- funny The Josh isn't filled up yet. <laughs> you're not that funny anymore. So wait, I have uh, I have go something on. to say. All right, go um, on. Do you think that potentially you being so kind of 50-50 with Spanish and English right now could be a problem in the future? Because like, let's say let's say this happens. Let's say because recently you've been doing a lot of Spanish content, right? right. Like more than English, mm-hmm. right? Um, so obviously your English community that don't speak Spanish, like I watch your streams, but I just, I don't even, like I try to watch your Spanish ones, but I, I just don't, because it's like, I don't know what you're yeah. saying. Um, I do, because I'm your friend, but. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'll, I'll click it and be like, okay, he's just talking Spanish, I don't know what he's saying. Yeah. Um, so do you think potentially like you're losing English fans because of that? And then like hypothetically in the future, if you, if you go back to English, you're gonna lose the Spanish people, and then you're gonna end up in a scenario where you've kind of like alienated mm. each part. No, absolutely not. I feel like the way it's working right now, and the way I'm structuring things, I'm at a preparation phase, right? Where you know, maybe like you said, maybe I'm doing one type of content more right now. Um, but behind the scenes, so much is happening, and the future is 100% gonna be 50/50 for me. Um, right now, you know, it, I think it is uh, a little tough for one side of fans to. So I feel like they're not getting enough content. Um, but what I say to those fans is in reality, uh, there is a lot of structuring going on behind the scenes that's gonna allow for equal amounts of content for both communities, which is what something kind, I'm excited about. What kind about. of structuring are you talking about? Um, structuring where uh, I'm, plan- I'm planning like content, just, just like I'm planning out like the next fucking like decade, well not decade, <laughs> but I'm, I'm planning out like, <laughs> The yeah, the very foreseeable future, foreseeable future yeah, yeah. of type of content that I'm making, type of stuff that I'm going to be pushing out. Um, so that's in the works. Um, and I think that's also why there hasn't been a lot of movement publicly. But I feel that all that structuring, uh, you know, even if there's some people that from the English community or from the Spanish community that lose some certain type of um, interest, uh, I'm very confident that with everything going on behind the scenes, they'll be able to get that interest back. So... A lot of the Spanish speaking creators, do they live in like mainly Spain? No, it's all over Spanish speaking countries. So Latin America, I feel like I, the ones that I know of, they're either from Spain or Argentina. Mm. Wait, are there? No, there's one more. Do they? Like, I don't know, are the, are the main, like, the, the bigger ones from Spain and Argentina? Because those are the ones that I know. No, there's a lot from everywhere. Everywhere? Big ones, yeah. I'd argue Quacky is one of the biggest ones in even Mexico. <laughs> well, okay, well, I was gonna, my, my question was gonna be, let's just pretend Spain and Argentina, okay? okay. Could well, you see yourself ever moving Spain yourself to, like, moving to one of those countries? Well, yeah. actually, you know what? You, you never know. You never know. I think I'd rather just, you know, either... I think that's more of a, per- that's not even a content question. That's even more like a personal question, right? Oh, sorry. Because no I would never questions? choose, I would never choose my <laughs> living. Kind of separation. I would never choose like my residence or my living based on my work. I yeah, think no, I, wait, but I, you could. You I could think go. I choose it based on All right, listen, like if, if no other content creators lived in America, would you still be in America? Oh, uh, for now, yeah. I, I like California. I really enjoy California. Okay. I like the weather. I like, uh, I like a lot of things about California. There's also a lot of things I don't like. But right now, I really enjoy living in California. He doesn't like California. And maybe there's going to be a point where I'm like, okay, maybe uh, maybe I don't need to be in California anymore. Maybe I don't enjoy it. Um, I've considered London. I really liked London. I liked London. I, I like London. London. Guys, I let's all just pick up our bags and go back home. Honestly, I didn't get this visa to come here. I just want to go back to London. I'd prefer if it wasn't London, a ha- honestly, if it wasn't a hassle, bro, I'd be down. Like if it wasn't a hassle to like have to like get like if, documents I, if, and like. 
If everyone, if everyone lived in London, I would love that. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. I prefer New York. Oh, New no, York. I think New I've, cool. I, I've already said this before. I feel like New York is just a dirtier version of London. I, and I heard your opinion and I disagree. So now we're fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call me a traitor, but. Yeah, that is also kind of yeah. What's up, clear. Clear. bro? That when we're, when we're bro, walking around New York, that bro, thing. when I was when we're walking around New York, every time you walk over a, a grate or something, you just smell shit in your nose. In New York? Yeah. Are you saying New York smells like shit? It does. Ooh. You tell me New York doesn't smell like shit? I think it can smell nice in some parts. Hey, what do, part? do, to be fair, we, like every time we've been to New York, it's hot as fuck. It's been one hot, two. He's in like the Times Square area. Like Midtown, yeah. Midtown Manhattan. Like that's not what I would be like. Oh, bro, I'm repping New York. Like I'm not repping. I'm not <laughs> repping York. Midtown Manhattan. To I, be honest. What part of New York are you repping? Because like I just feel like everywhere in London was like cool. Like I, everywhere that we went, the we we, we literally stayed in the richest section of London the entire time. My God, <laughs> he's just out here flexing. Guy, well, no, we did though. Hey, hey humble, humble, and uh, humble true? edition. Of we should ask George. I don't know. We were I mean, definitely one of the bougie. It was a, it's pretty bougie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 100%. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But, I mean, we were probably... I mean, we, 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 were in, like, the ma- we were in central London. We, we definitely stayed areas. in one of the nicer parts of New York. No. Most expensive to stay in. Potentially most expensive, not the nicest. I Isn't think. it expensive? I'd, I mean, nice as well. Like, why would it no, be expensive not, it's not that nice? That doesn't 100% equal the same thing, or else LA would be nice. <laughs> Holy shit, my man took shots at LA. I don't know. I, I, like, I don't know. I like it, I, LA. I don't know what it was There's about. I'd love you to. I'd love you to go to. Brooklyn. I don't know what it was about London. I just liked it more than you. I love. London. I don't know what London it was. Was amazing. Holy I love shit. London. I love it, London what is it? So what do I like it more? And I, I and like I'm gonna say it. Say it. I fuck it. I'm gonna say it. I think. I think I like London a lot because George was there as well. No, this motherfucker is really coming on the podcast to to phone. It's like I had so much fun with George when I was there. Mm. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) No, I I think I think. What can I say? (laughs) Maybe I saw a little more of London than I needed to. I think London's bro. I see London. I see France. You know what I'm saying? I I don't know what I liked about it. I think London's cool (laughs) because everything's so close to each other, and you can just walk to anything you want. You know, you don't have to drive for an hour to get somewhere. Well, I guess you sometimes, but not really. And I think some things that you might like is like some of the buildings that are very old fashioned. Yeah. I think like mm-hmm. the architecture is just kind of cool sometimes. It's top notch. Mm. Brighton? I hate Brighton. <laughs> to be clear. I didn't mean to do that. Brighton's There's no way you're yeah, why don't you like, Why don't you like Brighton? Uh, Brighton, it, it's peeling off. Peeling <laughs> the off? The buildings are peeling. Oh, yeah. The, the it's, buildings it's, are peeling. <laughs> it looks gray. The beach is like stupid. Yeah, the beach sucks. It, the, it's just, the beach it's has just rocks. Rocks. <laughs> rocks. Fucking rocks. I don't. I don't. I, don't like mean, I, I actually cool. like Brighton. If you go to Brighton in nice weather, it ch- it changes it completely. Yeah, nice weather weather in England is like what one month out of the year. Yeah. No, but I like, like when it's sunny. I, I really enjoyed uh, Brighton when it's like clear skies cold. and sunny. I prefer cold. It's Thank just you. like a nice vibe. It feels like you're on holiday though. The vacation. One- yeah. Uh, maybe I don't know what I liked about London, I mean, but when we went, it just felt like when we were walking around late at night, like it was just like nice. Like, it was like there wasn't like hella fucking people. Like we were walking around and it was empty. I was like, all right, it's fucking awesome. Every time you're in New York, there's always motherfuckers around you. You're talking about Times. You're, we're stayed one block away from Times Square. I don't know. What, you know what I mean? Like that, that, that's, it's a bad argument. It's a bad argument. It is. Well, maybe you also take, you have to give credit where credit's due. Maybe take me somewhere in New York that doesn't I'm suck done. dick. I actually still like the area that we were in. Why is that a bad thing? Mm-hmm. I'm not. Oh, a good, I'm not a good. If New something York. sucks, dick. And when you say like that, it, well, it's so an analogy. Like a Wait, give credit where credit's due. A bomb's about to go Rooftop off. Rooftop bars in in, uh, in <laughs> New York. Well, yeah, obviously they look cooler because you're higher up. They're and there's beautiful. More, and there's more buildings. It's but I'm not even that big of a drinker. Like for me, it's like I don't really care about drinker. Bars. Like whenever, I hardly know. whenever well, me, me and George, me, me, me and George were when we when you were there, we were in like some like random yeah, ass place that we were drinking in. It was there. good wow. enough for me. Remember when we, where we drank with Blackie and like in that that place where this was like some random spot like in some random oh. like, the place where you're like sat in that look and I turn and there's people <laughs> making out like crazy. <laughs> and this is I have, That's I have, a place. have we ever talked about that? That's I don't think we have. I don't think we have. Like, uh, we went I, to this, I really enjoyed it. You were there. We went to like we went a bar or something. UK. Yeah. And, and we, I had a, so much fun. I had I a lot of fun too. Some of my great. favorite memories traveling have come from London. Hey, like, you it's know like what this 
You know what this is? Yeah. You, know what that is? you do? Uh, what do you say? Say, $2. say for the audience. This is a, I'm holding a one hundred dollar bill. So you know what that is, Quacky? What? This is yours. Really? You gave this. You don't to remember me. this? You kept it? Yeah. <laughs> No way! I still have it. No This way. is it. You want to see it? Hey, that's look. so cool. It still smells like your greasy fingers. No, <laughs> that's, 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 that's law. That's mine. That's I need that. So Quacky gave Quacky's like, George, you've got to do a shot with us. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing a shot. I, I like, remember that. And you yeah. paid me $100. And he's like, you like, if yeah. I give you this $100, what are you doing? I was like, fine. And, and he, then, you did it instantly. As soon as I offered money, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give it back. Look, I, I actually have a whole collection. Look, I have yeah. a collection of Hundred dollar bills. No, no, I have a collection of money. <laughs> so, so look, these Wait, are my these are my notes. So, hundred dollars was from Quackity for doing a shot. Ten dollars. I I guess the lore isn't that important. I don't think I can say who it was. Was it? Okay, I can't say who it is. Maybe one day we'll know who this is from. Oh. Five dollars. Wait, five dollars. Bro doesn't remember shit. Yeah, like, you know, remember I'm, I'm my lord, because it was the most important. You know, I'm forgetting. This dollar Dream sent me. Who gave I, me the two dollars? Purpled. Purpled? And purpled, me. purpled gave me, me a two dollar. I don't actually remember. Oh, the, oh no. I think the five dollars was from that person. And the ten dollars, I Wait, think Wait, who's was, the one dollar? I think that was from Dream. He sent that to me before I came to America. I'm taking back but the two dollar gold. Did I send it to you? That I also and the, tw- the ten, Wait, I think, is from Chris or Chandler. Was it from me or Dream? I think it was from Dream. It was in the package that you guys both sent me, though. I don't know. I feel like maybe I gave it to you. Well, maybe. I don't yeah, know. I think it was from Dream. That's, yeah. that's actually kind of awesome. And I keep man. them in you my carry, wallet. You've carried those Lord dollars. And yeah. the most important part of this whole story was when, like I said, when George said, that was so funny. George said, Sam, look behind you. And these people are, like, not normal making out. Like, I'm talking about. They were, they, they were about to, like. Get down they, away. Yeah, they were about to go, like, right there, bro. Yeah. I was like, holy. Yeah. yeah. So guys, wow. I, if any anyone out there wants to give me a twenty dollar note or a fifty dollar, the they most, can they can join the collection. There's this, only two left. This is the best lore from. <laughs> yeah, from we can't UK. say that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've got two more slots in my collection. Who wants to fill it? Quackity. Hey, yeah, Quackity, yes, you got you got fifty dollars. This me? is um, <laughs> I, I might. You want to? No, nah, you can't. You can't be twice. Slots. You can't double dip. Yeah. So uh, yeah. you've had multiple areas of content. You you mentioned at the beginning you've had like Habo. Oh, Ro- Do you say Roblox? That's, I don't even know. That's a really good. I like um, Minecraft, obviously. Um, whatever your stupid content. I'll tell, is. So okay. for the sake I'll tell of this, you. for the sake of yeah. this, it was not the sake of this question, you. not your era that you are currently in. We okay. were talking about previous eras because you have reinvented your content creation numerous times throughout your career. Hey, I've actually got something fun. Not just your favorite one, but also your least favorite. Ooh. What's and your favorite and least favorite eras of your I content? Know exactly. Except for current, what you're in right now. Um. My favorite era of content definitely had to be um, I really enjoyed uh, doing the Discord content. Really? Like, mm. Yeah. The, the Discord cooking competitions, the Discord yeah. Photoshop competitions. That makes sense the, to me. I think those look fun. Yeah, and, and the Discord talent shows that like Discord. I like the, the community was, aspect of that. Wait, so yeah. so we're talking about Specifically, eras that you are not in anymore. Are you not doing any more of those? I, I, well, I wouldn't classify the latest two as Discord necessarily. Yeah, that's fair. Real life concentrated. That's fair. Uh, Discord content back in the day was purely online because of the pandemic, because you know we weren't allowed to go outside, so it purely had to be over Discord. Um, I really like that era a lot. Look at it. What the fuck? Sorry, I mean those videos. What the fuck is yawning? <laughs> Motherfuckers yawning. What? Yeah, that is crazy. What? By the way, guys, I'll show you the clock right now. It is currently, I mean, noon. It's, it's noon. noon right now. It's literally noon. <laughs> it's it's noon. twelve. It's actually Holy one, two, shit. three, four o'clock. This is one, two, three. Wait, it's four. one, two, three. Wait, is that? Oh, it is. It's one, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Well, for me, it's zero, zero, three, Wait, four. Wait, so I'm um, I'm not too shocked about that. Actually, I am kind of shocked that that's your favorite because I I would have assumed that you were gonna say the raids, but. The raids were fun, but they, they could be a little too much sometimes. And I oh, think so. I think long term, uh, they kind of fucked me. <laughs> really? Because I why? could have such a better relationship with Roblox <laughs> right now. Why do you need a good have... relationship with Roblox? I love Roblox. Well, I'm I think quackity, really cool the word quackity is banned on Roblox. <laughs> Explain they, that. Um, so we raided their forums Get into it. like three times. You I raided, raided their forums like three times. Weren't you kind of partially the reason? What does that, that actually that mean? You raided the forums? Yeah, I think I think I was partially to blame for the removal of the forums, and I think they hate me because of that. 
And but what, what does that mean? Like you raided the forums. So I tell people to go in there and spam like twitch.tv slash quackity, <laughs> you know? This is, this is how, this how quackity got famous. He just then, got everyone to spam his link everywhere. Yeah, and then when they banned me for it, I told my fans to go and tell them to unban me. So it'd be like, <laughs> I'm like, like, to be fair, it was fair. The ban was fair. Yeah. But I was just a little toxic, you know? A little you was? Was. I, I were. You've changed. I was. You, I've changed. You've changed. I feel like it's not even like that toxic. It was, Spamming it was, a form with your Twitch. Well, yeah. Like, but it's still like, you know, it's still a little too much. I, I, I really liked the raids. They were so fucking fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't classify as my favorite. My least favorite classify. definitely has to be um, my, not the Toon Tenor, because my Toon Tenor I had like text to speech. Can but I guess my, what you're about to say? Yes. When you went from Toontown and tried to rebrand. Yeah. Yes. That was rough. That was really rough. Um, what, what did wait, you what, I don't know about this. What happened? So, so I stopped doing Toontown content, but I wasn't. Wait, really what Toontown voice. content is that when you had the intro, like the yeah, <laughs> that's right, that's right. And I and I was doing like Toontown content, right? Yeah. With Texas Speaks, that's what that's what made me stand oh, out. Oh, because you didn't actually use your voice. At that I didn't point. use my voice. So when I stopped making Toontown content, what stayed was the Texas Speech. And the Texas speech era of my channel, I think, was my least favorite because I wanted to put myself out there. I didn't want to be a fucking. So then why did you Texas speech then? Because people hated it. People hated like me using my voice. When I you tried it like two, from three Toontown, times. What did you switch to again? Uh, gaming content. So uh, I started doing like uh, like video uh, video game blank video game sucks. So I'd be like Undertale sucks and Roblox sucks, Minecraft sucks. Like it was just me critiquing video games <laughs> with Texas speech. That I felt that was miserable. That was absolutely miserable. I had no creative. Mo's writing direction. essays. I really, I really didn't even have like real creative direction with any of that, and that's what like. Quite you've been on banter. Yes. And um, last time we each had a question for you, me and Sapnap. This is pre George. Yeah. And now. Oh yeah. We have a new segment. That PG pre George. <laughs> PG. We have a new segment that we're introducing. It's where you have to ask each of us a question on the spot. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, on spot? Yep. Yeah, you have a lot of power here. Wait, well, can I think about it? Because that's a lot of power. You can think about it, but the other thing is you also have to ask it in the voice of an anime character. <laughs> uh, um, um, George, excuse I'd me. I'd like to know. Uh, are, 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 like, any Gosh, I hope no one thinks you're weird. Sure, literally anything. Anything, like, you can ask one anything, question but... for three of you? No, each. each. Yeah, yeah. One question each, so three right. questions. George, how many people have you had sex with in the past year? Oh, that's a great question. I know the okay, answer. you can ask another question. <laughs> I know the answer. To that. That's not really on spot if it's a question that doesn't put a you on spot. A second question? Here, ask a different question. Uh, what's a. Dude, I don't know. In an anime voice. Um, um, George. <laughs> oh my God. You don't have a single question for me? I don't. You don't he, care. You don't. Well, you don't care about me. You're like you don't care about you me. You didn't care about me. It's because George is so open. Yeah, but exactly. you can ask just one question then. But it has to be in the anime voice. So I'm gonna freak out. Dude, you. I don't. I honestly, <laughs> fuck. Maybe sad man. Go ahead. What's a question for you that I might have? Why do you um, hate his hoodie so much? That's a question for himself. I that's... I genuinely don't have like what's something on spot. Can you guys give me the question? What's something to put you on spot? I, I generally don't. No, not the, the point the is that you asked the question. We were putting you on the spot. Oh. That's what I'm saying. So you're putting me on the spot by having you ask me a question. All right, mm -hmm. George. Say anime all the voice. Shit. Anime voice. George, say all the shit you hate about America. Oh. Um, like genuinely. Like genuinely. <laughs> I. I'm not doing in the voice. You should do I it. think it's stupid that you need a visa to live here. Like, there's no way of living here unless you can get a visa. I think that's stupid. That's yeah, I'm more of a Mastercard guy. What a diplomat this guy is. <laughs> what the uh, fuck kind of? Because like, I'm also more of a Mastercard kind of guy. All right, um, I have a question. Oh, oh sorry. Go on. Are you done? Um. Hmm. <laughs> you need what a else? visa to live here. That sucks. That was also. But it's hard hey, to get a visa. That that might we might get into immigration politics now. <laughs> He's talking about visa problems. I mean, I guess like obviously they can't just let everyone because the oh, oh. the. <laughs> 
Whoa! No, everyone. Because if there was no visa process, then a lot of people would want to move like, to America. Like, what kind of people don't you want in the country? It's not to do with a specific like, type of person. It's just, <laughs> so it's just do you people think in, you deserve it more? It's people in general. It's like, obviously, America is America, and it's kind of like a hub of the world. Oh. So if... Oh, you, you don't think it should be? Well, I'm just saying, logistically, if they didn't have it and anyone could just come and live here, oh. they would overflow with people. Oh. So, so what gives you the right that you get to choose who gets to come? <laughs> I don't get to choose. It's not up to me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, like, I, un- I, I think that's perfect. I think that's yeah, enough from George. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> how you, how you <laughs> On spot question for Sab now. <laughs> I want to know... Now that George has entered into your personal life, what kind of benefits are you no longer going to have now that he's living in your same home? God. You're asking him what the disadvantages of me moving in on? Yeah. Okay. I like that. One thing I, I, I noticed almost instantly after you moved in, I guess, is that our rooms are just right next to each other. There's one wall. There's a very thin wall one between thin our wall. rooms. Like, what? I, I, really? I, one time I woke up in the morning, I heard him on like the phone with someone, <laughs> and I realized like if he wanted to or if I wanted to, we could totally eavesdrop on each other. Like, if I put my ear up to that wall, yeah. I would understand what he said. Why, why do Wait, you guys... This is a problem. Isn't the place where you guys live massive? Why can't can you get like different It's just rooms somehow that's how it, it works. You guys out. literally like... I think we want. Yeah, yeah, you guys planned. You these, know, I didn't. You? I didn't plan the positioning of the room. So, I'd be like, hey, look, our room layout. I don't know if I should say it. Should I say it? What's the layout? Well, you just yeah, it doesn't matter. Why, it's, okay, like, it's like okay, it's, our room layout is we have like I have an office, and a bathroom, and a bedroom, and I guess technically the office and the bedroom could have been switched. Yeah. Right. But I think the reason they did it like that is because they wanted, and then stand up is next to me, and it goes bedroom. So it's, like, so it's bedroom, bathroom, office. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So no, this is how it works. It's, bed, it, bath, it's, beyond. It's, for him, it's office, bathroom, bed, and then mine is bed, bathroom, office. And, and bed. imagine those six rooms in Swap. a row. Jeez, um, so the reason they did it like that is because they wanted the offices as far apart for sound so, purposes. That makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is realistically they could have been next to each other and it would have been fine. Because these rooms are they're pretty soundproofed. But now the problem is our rooms are right next to each other. And our offices are like completely soundproof anyway. Yeah, like stand up. He had to like call me like, t- like every time he wanted to come into my room, he would be knocking on the door and he'd call me like, bro, open the door. And I'm like, what? And he'd be like, yeah, I've been knocking. I literally couldn't even hear him knocking on my door. Yeah. Really? We, it's like two doors. That's kind of creepy. Because it's like, like you have, we have two doors. Some guy could go into your room and fucking shoot you guys and no one would know. Nobody. Yeah. No I could do that. Santa would go by George's room. So that is definitely a disadvantage. Bad Boy Hillow could bring over all of his guns. I, mean, I, 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 I have a TV. Dude. Bad Boy Hillow could like, TV, like shoot up the fucking the ceiling. I don't know. I don't. Maybe. Like, they they wouldn't, wouldn't, they, no one would know. But yeah, that that's actually could be a big problem going forward. Yeah, you guys should just I don't make know another how, house. How do we fix that? Just build another house. I, there is no fixing it. The only way we could fix it is if they like break the wall down and then like put like, shit in the wall so it's not as thin you know because right now it'll end up smelling bad though because <laughs> right now it, it's just yeah. like it's yeah. just like plaster right or whatever drywall or whatever. yeah drywall they need to like thicken the wall like put bricks in there or something i don't know like, <sighs> how do you make the wall that is a good we'll, we'll see we've only oh, lived got a lot of we've only lived together in that in that house for like, four days yeah, i think four days so i don't and think it's we, already a problem it's not, it's not a problem like yeah it hasn't been a problem but i've noticed that it will be a problem in, baby yeah, holy cow. You All guys right. are going to have to get a lot of getting used to now. All right. I actually think it won't be as big of a deal. Only like niche circumstances. Ooh, niche. Like what? Like I'm watching my TV later than you want to sleep. Oh, it's going to be so annoying. And also another problem is our AC is combined. So if someone likes it colder oh, than no. I do or hotter. What? No. Luckily the AC no, is in my... But I can control it from my phone. Who likes it colder no, between no. you two? Me. Really? So, so. Yeah, I don't know. Why do you, I, I, I keep you like it, it at like 66, 65. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's Maybe 60. I can, I can negotiate to 67. That's a little fuck. I can't. I do. I do 72. Yeah. yeah that is ludicrous. <laughs> well, these are two like kind of big quality of life things that yeah. we're going to have to share. Yeah. That's um, okay. That's gonna cause a lot of problems. Yeah, I can't it's wait. I'll tell you, you won't cause. Uh, it's being a little over-exaggerated. I feel like it won't cause. I, I, I'll tell you guys. I'm getting right sad now thinking about it. I was like, oh god, how do we not? 
What, how AC? did you guys, you guys have the choice? You can avoid this problem and just well, move to how, London where they don't how, even know what air conditioning is. How are you supposed to fix That's the AC true. problem? The only way is it. if they have like two separate ACs for You have to fight over air. I don't know. What food I are don't know. For during winter night. Yeah, we're gonna. End. I'm glad that we talked about this uh, later on in the episode because now we're gonna look at a depressed George for the rest of the episode. Yeah, Quack- they made it this far. No, that was that was a good that was a good argument. That was good. The Quack- argument. All right, listen, Quacksy, what's your question for Carl? Crap, I don't even have that. that oh, you have a question, question for Osman for or for Carl? You had a question for each of them. Though. Yeah, I I didn't even have a good question for Carl. But I also felt like Carl. Yeah. yeah. Being fully transparent here, <laughs> I just want to know. Every single thing you hate about living in North Carolina. God damn it, there must I be a lot. I can go in. Um, <laughs> okay. I think my least favorite thing is I live over an hour away from the first real airport. Okay. Which sucks. That's the same in London. Yeah? Uh, to, for me to get to the airport, it's over an hour. Really? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, fair enough then. I But for me, I hate it. I don't know. I just really don't like it. I don't like having to... But it's almost two hours for me. But you, I guess you kind of fly a lot, right? And I fly a lot. I do. So yeah. it is frustrating. I also don't like... Um, I like living in a city. In a perfect world, for me, everybody lives in the middle of New York City. Mm. And we all get to just walk down a block and Wait, pick out... Wait, you mean London? Restaurant. That's what I said before about London. I yeah. think that'd be great. Everyone just lives in London. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'd be down for London. I'd be down... I'd but be, London over New York. I'm saying in a perfect world for me, mm-hmm. um, I would... Everybody lives in like Brooklyn. And then we're all just... Brooklyn. We could just trip and fall yeah, and land on another man. perfect <laughs> restaurant every single time. Hmm. The restaurants are bad in North Carolina. Um, I'm excited though because there are other people that are like moving there now. Foolish is there, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> People are going to be there a lot more often now. I have a follow-up question. Go ahead. If you could relocate the Mr. Beast premises to any place you wanted to, where would it be? I just said in a perfect world New York, but I don't think New York, and I'll explain why. Okay. Well, for Mr. Beast, I don't think New York makes sense. I, if, <laughs> in a perfect world, we move to Burbank or something. I feel like Burbank would be perfect. You want to live in Burberry? No, I'd live in I'd live <laughs> in like idiot. I'd live in like West Hollywood or something, and then I'd just drive forty minutes to go to film for Mr. Beast. I feel like that'd be perfect. Hmm. And I I don't like LA. But well, that's where everything's happening, so that's fair. That's just okay. the truth. So your favorite for, for Quacksy, your favorite place to live is where you currently are. Yeah. Your ideal location. My ideal location as of now, yeah, probably will change in a. I think we should all move to Alaska. I would, I would, I would fuck with that idea. Maybe, you know, would be sick if, if for like a Why? year, hear me out, for a year, for one year, we had like a bunch of that's like. It's a long time, bro. For, yeah, I know. A bunch of we had like a little community. Of like obviously well put together like electricity provided, I just cabins just, all together. Just, in like I the just I just spawned in a, a the craziest YouTube idea. Imagine I survived Alaska for a year, and the thumbnail it says day three sixty five in the corner. And then and then the and imagine like just sitting in and the, like the, the Alaska intro goes, in a city in Alaska. The, no, <laughs> the, 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 the intro is today I'm gonna be stuck in Alaska for the next three hundred and sixty five days. I have nothing. I have to learn everything from scratch. Let's go. And then George checks into the hotel room. No, no, no. And then, and then, <laughs> and then, and then I actually stay <laughs> there for the next year. George acts like there's nothing in Alaska. Yeah, yeah you are actually. You're in the wilderness. No, no, I actually. That's, actually, a, that's, a, that's a fucking state, bro. <laughs> I, it's a whole state. It's a whole state. Like, it's, it is a state. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of Antarctica. Mother uh, okay, I was thinking Antarctica, not Alaska. Like, I should not sure where he was going with that one. That's similar, though, Are you right? serious? Aren't they similar? No. Alaska's like a state, bro. No, but Alaska has a lot of land that's like, a la- that's like Antarctica. Yeah. Yeah. I know, then he, then he goes to, <laughs> then he go, to he fucking goes, Anchorage, a beautiful city. Yeah, yeah, and, and then he walks into Walmart. Yeah, yeah. but doesn't Alaska have a lot of land that's like ice? Yeah, yeah of I'm course. sure there of is, but like, you didn't specify. Okay, I, I misspoke. I meant Antarctica. 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 You didn't say, this video we're saying in the fucked part of Alaska. <laughs> you just said Alaska. I, miss, I misspoke, okay? I, I got it wrong. The fucker said Alaska. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Well, I guess I want to stop talking to you guys now. Quackity, where can we find you? Uh, you on can Quark. find me on everything as Quackity. Uh, Except on uh, YouTube where it's Quackity HQ. Uh, no, YouTube it's also Quackity. Oh, TikTok it is Quackity Just look up Quackity, find all my socials. I think it's, it's real Quackity on TikTok, right? 
Uh, real Quackity on TikTok. But you don't really use TikTok. On Twitter, it's Quackity HQ, though. So check out on Twitter, Quackity HQ. Actually, it's not. What's up? That account got banned. Oh, Instagram it is Quackity HQ. Nope, that's Quackity as well. Oh, okay. Well, you are only fans, though. Oh, no, that, that, is, that is Quackity HQ. Yeah. Oh wait, but before you say the other one, one more thing. One more thing. 